a small lightweight travel trailer that can sleep up to eight people. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the honey badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the 2024 Forest River Cherokee Wolf Pup 17JW and try saying that three times fast. This is my favorite bunk model travel trailer that's under 24 feet in total length. Now, if this is the first time that you've seen me do a walkthrough, I take about eight to 10 minutes to walk around the entire trailer and talk about it without special effects, sound effects, or any kind of weird editing. Okay, so let's get started. First off, you got one five gallon propane tank, an area to put two group of 24 12 volt batteries, now, Forest River tags all their trailers on the tongue, and forgive the shaking because I've been sick. Uh, dry weight is 4,520 pounds, and the total length, meaning if you took a tape measure front to back, it would be 23 feet, 6 inches. Okay. Now, if we go over here, they put the gross right up there, which is 5,623 pounds with a 5,100 pound axle and it is on 15 inch tires. Now, what Wolf Pup does is they put these off-road looking tires, <laughs> off-road looking, off-road tires on it to give it a little more clearance. You also get a tankless hot water heater and an outside shower. I'm still not completely sold on the tankless yet. Uh, I've heard a lot of stories from folks that tell me you need good water pressure for it to work properly. So if you're in a situation where your water pump and you're dry camping and it's not getting enough pressure, let me know, guys. Let me know what you think. If you've had experience with that tankless hot water heater and it's been a good one, let me know in the comments section, okay? All right, you got front and rear stabilizers, a crow in the background that doesn't like me. Uh, you got LED light near the sewer valve dump, black tank flush. It is a 30 amp coach. It has a backup camera prepped for a ladder, spare tire, and a decent sized power awning. Now, of course, that door right there actually leads to the bunk beds where you can flip up a bunk bed and put storage underneath. I did not bring the keys to unlock it, so I apologize. It's kind of brain fart and foo paw on my end, okay? Then you got a little outside, we'll call it outside kitchen because reality is it only has a refrigerator. Now remember, a refrigerator on an outside kitchen only runs when you're plugged in to power. So whether you're plugged in at your house, a generator, or at a campsite. Outside speakers, LED lights. Let's take a look at the underbelly. So pretty good storage there. And there's your charge controller for your solar. So not bad. It doesn't pass all the way through because you have the tankless hot water heater back there. Okay, now when we go inside, first we're not gonna have all the highway noise, but you have the U-shaped dinette, which is good for a good sized family. Cause they're expecting that you're gonna have, you know, six, let's say between six and eight people that are gonna sleep in this trailer. Especially you got young kids, you can fit probably two young teenagers there, probably two 13, 14 year old kids. Then you got your residential queen size bed with cabinets above. Now, my only real complaint about these types of floor plans that have that big of a slide is the fact that you have no closet space, zero. So you gotta get creative with all of your storage. Now that drawer is gonna have to be for clothes and maybe this drawer is for pots, pans, plates. So one of the downsides to this type of floor plan is you're gonna be probably in a suitcase. Oh, look, and of course it's got easy pull down blinds. You're gonna be living out of a suitcase really. You're not gonna have an area to hang clothes and your tow vehicle is probably gonna be the area where you carry most of your clothes, okay? now. What I do like is it does have good counter space for being a small travel trailer. It's not a very big one, obviously. 
and they still have room for a nice big deep sink on top of having decent counter space. Now you can also uh, maybe add something here, maybe something portable. Now obviously you can't fold it in and out like you would normally because you have this GFI plug here, but maybe you can get yourself one of those small portable islands. Hey look, a spare uh, light case. <laughs> Bonus. <laughs> okay. Not bad for the cabinet. You can fit some good dishes up there. You got your microwave, your two burner stove. No oven. This is what sucks. I hate this. I really do. And the reason why I hate this so much is because that's deceptive. If you're walking in here and you don't open the cabinets, you start getting disappointed. Because really, this is not storage. This is just access for plumbing. That's what it really is. That's access for maintenance. So that's what makes that so disappointing. So again, not a lot of storage. You're going to have to get a little creative, okay? Let's close the bathroom door and make this a little easier. What you do have, though, and makes up for is a big, deep 12-volt refrigerator. It's 12-volt or electric. This does have solar on it, if I didn't mention that earlier. Full-size bunk beds with USB port chargers. And then here you go with the nice, big, deep bathroom that even has a small little tub to it. Okay. So overall, this is a weekend type of coach. This is, you know what, we're going to pack up and we're going to head out for three to five days and just hang out as a family. You're going to mainly have a lot of creativity with the clothing storage and the dishes storage. Um, now, if I remember correctly, there's one last thing I really want to show you if it's still here. Is you could technically lift this bed and you can access all that outside storage from here. So a little more accessibility for stuff if you're going to store things under there. Now, don't forget that we do have the merchandise store. Uh, I'll have the link to that in the description box below. You know, your shirts, your hats. And you know what? I'd love for everybody to send me a picture on Facebook or Instagram um, of you wearing the shirt or the hat and tag me in it at KJBRV. In fact, I'll have my social media accounts linked in the description box below if you want to talk to me through there. Also, my email if you have any questions. And you know what? In the top right-hand corner of this video, you're going to see another really cool small floor plan that will sleep multiple people.